What's up Venture Crew, my name is Luke, and today we're gonna show you the quickest way to get Google Analytics installed on your WordPress website. Here we go. All right, so if you're here watching this video, you're probably looking for the quickest, easiest way to get Google Analytics installed on your WordPress website, and we're here to show you. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna show you the quickest way to get a plugin installed so you can hook it up to your Google Analytics property and start tracking the data for traffic on your website. If you aren't familiar, Google Analytics is a program that allows you to track all the data on your website to see where your traffic is coming from, and it's very helpful as a website owner. So let's jump right in, okay? So, the first step in this whole process is making sure that you have a Google Analytics property that's uh, created. So if you haven't gone through that process, I'm just gonna walk through that process super quickly. If you already have your Google Analytics property installed, uh, created and installed in Google Analytics and you're ready to hook it up, you can go ahead and fast forward. Just use the chapter dividers down below. Fast forward to the part um, that's labeled, you know, something like uh, starting the, uh, the plugin download process. But in this case, uh, in case you haven't had the uh, Google Analytics property created already, I'm just gonna walk through that really quickly. So in this first step, um, we're gonna go ahead and you can just go to analytics.google.com. And if you're not logged into your Google account already, you wanna go ahead and get logged into that. If you uh, are logged in already, you're gonna see a screen just like you see here on the screen, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit this start measuring button. And I'm just gonna quickly walk through the process of creating this, uh, this property. Again, if you already have your property created, you can go ahead and just fast forward to the part where we hook it up to, um, to the WordPress website. So we can just put in any account name here, whatever you wanna call this. You can add multiple properties under each account. I usually like to uncheck these. Um, I don't necessarily feel like I need to allow them to hook up and watch everything that's going on in my account. You can always change this later. So let's go ahead and hit next. Let's create property details. So I'll just call this uh, new WordPress website. You can call this whatever you, the name of your WordPress website is. Of course, change your time zone if you want. So I'm in Eastern, uh, US Eastern time zone, which is gonna be New York. And uh, currency is fine here. If you're somewhere not in the US, of course, you can change the currency there as well. Business details, this is just general stuff, but just select you know whatever type of business you um, are doing here. Let's just go ahead and do internet and telecom. Hit next. And then they ask you for your goals. So if it's an e-com site or whatever it is, um, you can just add, you know, check here for whatever your goals are for the website. They're gonna ask you to accept the terms of service. And there you go. Now the last step here is for data collection for the feed, they wanna know what type of thing it is. So of course we're dealing with a website today, so we'll go ahead and hit website. And then you see here um, what your uh, website is. So let's go back to our WordPress website, which we should already have created. And I'm just going to uh, grab the URL from this particular WordPress website that I'm using, uh, that we're doing, and I'm gonna paste it in here. It looks like we already have the HTTPS, so I'm just gonna back up and Select it to just this WordPress website for my uh, for my website, but you would want to go ahead and use the one from your own domain here, and then we can just say uh, website traffic for our stream name. All right, you can really call that whatever you want. Just make sure it's easy for you to um, uh, to remember. Okay, so now the stream has been created. Um, and it's gonna try to walk you through this on this side, but actually we don't need to do this because we can just go hook it up using the plugin that we're gonna use. So we can go ahead and just X out of these um, installation instructions, we don't need those. We have our property created now inside of Google and we can go back to our WordPress website. Okay, so now we're at the WordPress website and we can jump into the part where we can, we already have our property created and we can go ahead and get it installed and hooked up via a plugin in WordPress, here we go. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to install the plugin that we need. That's a super quick, easy plugin to get installed to track Google Analytics stuff on our website. So I'm gonna go under, in WordPress, I'm gonna go under plugins and then add new plugin. And I'm actually gonna go in the search bar and I'm just gonna search Monster Insights. All right, that's the name of the plugin. All right, and this is Monster Insights. You can see three million active installations, so it's obviously well used. This is pretty, by far, pretty much the number one Google Analytics plugin that's used to hook up to install Google Analytics on your site and start tracking your data. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Install Now. And then once it's installed, we can go ahead and activate. And once we activate, we're gonna see the welcome screen for Monster Insights here, 
Okay, so once we see that, uh, we wanna hit this blue button here that says launch the wizard. That's gonna take us through a super easy wizard where we hook up to Google and we get it installed. And we know that's what you wanna do and while you're here watching the video. So let's go ahead and do that. Launch the wizard. I'm gonna tell it it's a business website. It says I'm using the free version, which is great. So this will be free forever as long as you wanna use it. And then we have a little section here that says connect Google Analytics plus WordPress. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the connect monster insights button. And it's gonna take me over to the screen This tells me it's gonna go ahead and hook right up to my Google account and get everything hooked up for me so I don't have to manually install a tag or anything like that on my website. So I can go ahead and hit continue and connect to Google. And then I can select my Google account. And then I can, it's gonna tell me everything that, Google, that Monster Ad Sites wants to do with my Google account. So it's gonna look at the measurement entities, view Google Analytics data, all that kind of stuff. So I'll go ahead and hit allow. And once I allow, it's going to show me what my property is. So this is the property that we just created in Google Analytics. And it's gonna say new WordPress website because that's what I named my website property in Google Analytics. And it's gonna have you select the terms and conditions, which you need to decide if you're gonna select yourself or not. And then we just hit the complete connection button. It's gonna finalize the authentication. So we'll just give it a second here. Once this is up and running, um, we will have full Google Analy Analytics traffic inside of our Google Analytics property um, that we can log in and view the traffic on. So it's gonna be great. Uh, again, this is saving us from having to, you know, get a tag installed manually to hire a developer to do that. You don't need any of that. All you need is this plugin to be able to do it. Okay, so it's gonna ask us what we'd like to do here. Um, so we can turn on or off these different settings here. Um, this is events tracking, the enhanced link attribution, file download tracking, all that kind of stuff. You can just leave all that off for now. It's none of that is actually your actual, um, you know, traffic that's tracked on your website. Affiliate link tracking, you can also leave that as well. Um, and then uh, who can see reports? This is what WordPress user levels inside of WordPress can see the Google Analytics reports inside WordPress. Install updates automatically will automatically update the plugin for you. Um, and then the badge and the help us improve, we just leave those off, hit save and continue. And then just a couple more features here or um, things to set up. So uh, recommended plugins to my website. I'm actually going to uncheck these because it wants to install a bunch of other plugins that we don't need. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uncheck those and hit continue. All right, and it says awesome tracking and analytics are all set up. All right, so it says connected to Google Analytics, success, tracking code installed, success, data being collected, success. So the cool thing about this um, is that now uh, we can complete the setup without upgrading and it says congratulations, we are all set up. So it does let us upgrade to Pro if we want um, in order to get better reports and stuff like that. And there'll be a link down below to do that upgrade if you want to. Use that link down below, it helps out the channel, helps us put more videos on the channel and all that good stuff. But basically, um, you can get everything you need just for free with Monster Insights Lite, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Um, if I hit view reports here, it's gonna take me to my report screen. This report screen inside of WordPress is gonna show me all of my stats from Google Analytics. So of course, I don't have any stats in here yet uh, because, you know, I haven't, um, I haven't tracked any stats within Google Analytics, um, but you can definitely see. Now, I'm gonna show you from the code real quick just to prove here how we can see that we definitely have Google Analytics installed on the website. So I'm gonna right click here and then view my page source, and I'm gonna Command F on a Mac or Control F on a PC, and I'm gonna look for uh, Google in the code. So you can see here that here is, it says this site uses Google Analytics by Monster Insights plugin. And here is my script for my Google Tag Manager code that is putting the analytics snippet on, on my website. So I can see here that I have the Google Analytics snippet on my website, so I've confirmed that from the code of the website. So anytime there's a visit on the website, I should be able to see that inside Google Analytics. All right, and if I go back over to Google Analytics, and I'm gonna uncheck all that and save, um, I can now see zeros here, of course, because um, you know because I don't uh, I don't have any traffic yet. Once I have traffic, I can log into Google Analytics and I'll see all my reports here. 
Uh, the last thing to say is within, um, within Monster Insights, of course, you have all these different options over here on the left, some reports, so setup checklists, site notes, popular posts, uh, user journey, all that kind of stuff. So it does give you some other reporting inside of WordPress. So the other cool thing about using Monster Insights is that you can go inside WordPress and look at all your stuff and you don't have to log into Google Analytics separately if you don't want to, all right? Hopefully that got you guys a super quick way to get Google Analytics set up on your website. We do this for hundreds of websites a year at our uh, agency where we build WordPress websites. Our goal for this year is to add so much more content to the YouTube channel and to help you build better WordPress websites in 2024, all right? If you have any questions, please feel free to hit us up in the comments down below, run in any trouble, get anything installed. We wanna help you as much as we can. So use those comments down below. Please subscribe to the channel to let you know when we have brand new content coming out this year. Uh, we have some huge meetings in the next couple weeks with our team on WP Venture and we're going to be just coming with a flood of new information and videos on the channel this year. Take care and we'll see you soon. Cheers.